What's up, what's up, Bank Squad? Today we're gonna smash leg day, never skip leg day. Tank along with me, come along, walk out with me, leg day, never skip it. Popping Bank Squad, welcome back to today's video. So today's video is gonna be about the leg workout, never skip leg day, ladies and gentlemen. So now I'm starting off with a leg press. Yeah, whenever I do my leg workout, I don't do booty. I have a booty workout day and I have a leg workout day, so I don't blend the two together. So I start off with a leg press when I'm doing my uh, leg workout and I take a 350 kg, like you can see here. I start with a 350 kg. Yes, a 350 kg. Yeah, so I started off with a 250 and then I increased to a 350 kg. And here I did a six reps times two sets in the 350 and when it was 250 280 300 330 i did a seven reps of four sets in each uh weight so yeah guys never skip uh, your leg press when you're doing your leg workout because you're working on your cards your hamstring and your entire thighs <laughs> This is still a leg press but this time around I'm working just on one leg each so this is a one leg press and what I'm doing I'm targeting my hamstrings and my cords and at the same time when you're lifting going upwards you're also working on your gluteus medius as you can see but here I'm basically focusing and isolating my hamstrings baby my hamstrings were fire after this and I did a 50 kg but then I reduced it to a 35 kg because it was extreme it was hot but when doing this one leg press always use your heels to push up and land back on your uh, toe so yeah don't forget your heels should be the major focus when doing that and now on to the next one this is a hack squats baby everyone knows what a hack squat is you're working mostly on your cords your hamstrings and more guys your calves and here they have squirts not everyone likes it because it's super intense but look at the next trick I'm going to teach you guys this is how I love doing my hack squirts the jumping hack squirts here it's super intense but guys you need to reduce the weight in order to have a good balance and not to fall out because if you fall you can easily injure yourself so this is the jump hack sport this is super 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 intense but super good for your cords for you guys who are looking for the best cords do the jumping hack sport it's lit ladies and gentlemen so try this and tell me what you think about it comment below after doing this and now on to the next one, we're doing another hack sport, but this time around, it's just one leg hack sport. This, I almost died, guys, it was super painful after doing the jump sport, <laughs> the jump hack sport. I couldn't breathe, I had to take a break and just breathe afterwards. So basically what you're doing, doing the one leg hack sport, you're lifting, you're pushing backward with your heels. Remember, you're pushing backwards with your heels in order to target your hammies. And here is another one because we don't have the reverse hack squat, so I just tried doing this, but I didn't really get what I was looking for in this the reverse hack squat. But I felt it mostly on my calves and my glutes. So yeah, you should try this if you don't have a reverse hack squat. They're supposed to target your hamstrings and your glutes at the same time. And then on to the next one. To the next one, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to work on the calves. And ladies and gentlemen, no one wants a chicken leg. No, of course. So you need to work on your calves in order to have the asymmetric leg. So in order to have the asymmetric leg, you need to work on your calves, your hammies, your cords, your ties. 
and here I'm starting off with working with the carbs and yeah I started with 180 and then I increased to 200 and then 220 which is my max when doing that and when you're doing when you're trying to work on your uh, carbs you need to do it slowly and have your, your foot halfway like as if you're sleeping out because you're trying to isolate those muscles the calves muscles and make sure you have a good balance when you're doing this because you can easily sleep out if your shoe is really doesn't have a good uh, sole so make sure your foot is halfway remember your foot has to be halfway and you have to move up and down slowly in order to get the tension in your calves because then you're isolating the muscle and here the next one you're also working on the calves again and this time it's the seating type of working on the calves and you have the same way you have your foot halfway but this time you're mostly lifting your thighs instead of your foot and you lifting up and when you're lifting backward that's when you're working with your calves so you can either do the standing one or the sitting one but most people prefer the standing one because you need to have like a good real stamina in order to do the sitting tie because it's super intense compared to the standing one so yeah you can try this to always start with a lower weight if you're not sure uh, <laughs> how you can do it because it's quite painful like you can see I took a break while doing it and make sure you do very slowly you don't injure yourself and now to the next one we're going to start off with working just on the cords and the ties guys this is my favorite after the leg press this is my second favorite when it comes to the leg workout and here yeah, I'm starting off with just lifting one leg and it's the leg call as you know and yeah I don't mind my camera so yeah I'm starting with the leg call just one leg and then I start with my left I, yeah that was my left <laughs> so yeah and then after doing one leg leg call and then I start with the two and here I'm using a 50 kg as a startup and then I, my max is 110 kg when it comes to the leg call and guys why you need this is to strengthen your core and also your ties we need to do the leg call if you want a stronger leg guys never miss this if you want him for a super strong leg your leg press should be your number one and your leg call should be your number two forget like when working with your leg you need to like take it easy don't rush things don't do it too fast because i've seen people at the gym when they do so fast you can easily injure your muscles and your tissues so you have to take when you're working with your leg you need to take it with a good slow or moderate uh, speed not too fast because the leg the leg is very delicate you can easily injure your muscle so as you can see I took it very slowly and now to the next one reverse leg call is one of my favorite because then you like get it in good contact with your hammies that's your hamstrings and here I always start off just normally with one leg because then I'm getting good content of isolating my uh, hamstrings I love it and I always do it slowly guys remember do your leg workout at a moderate speed not too fast in order, in order not to injure your tissue and your uh, leg muscle so here I studied it slowly and I increased the weight from the 50 to 70 kg because I love tricking my muscles I start with a lighter weight and then I increase to the normal weight which I use and here I'm studying uh, with the 70 kg with the two legs and then afterwards I increased to my max which was my 90 and there guys it was super intense but I could feel it but then I reduced it back when I was going back to one leg or uh, leg call and I reduced it to a 50 kg because then I'm trying to like isolate the muscle group target I need a good contact of my hamstrings and that's the best way you can do working out with your leg workout you need to like start off with a lower weight and then you increase 
to a normal weight which you, you, you regularly use and yeah and the best way when you're trying to work with your hamstrings start off with a lighter weight before using the normal weight which you use because then you're trying to get good contact of this muscle group and you know the hamstring is really difficult to work on but when you get that contact it's the best feeling ever and I remember after doing this workout, it was the last workout I did, I almost passed out. <laughs> I couldn't go down the stairs because in, in the gym where I uh, work out, it's the three floors and they don't have any elevator. So I had to take the uh, stairs downstairs to the dressing room and guys, I almost cried. I felt like an old lady but yeah it was worth it so thank you guys for following me throughout my leg workout today and hope to see you next time lovelies don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to be amongst the bank squad so don't forget like this video subscribe to my channel see you next time bank squad